Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic is installation. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. This is the first executive series video that you've seen. Please go back and check out the introduction. Look at the video description for links to any supporting information and a summary of the material that we will cover. In my executive series, we have a standard agenda, which covers four main areas. You can find those in the progress bar. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video to get those three bonus questions. Our requirement, installation, comes directly from 820.170 and 1345 sections 4.2.3, 7.5.3, and 7.5.8. Installation in five words. Installing devices at customer site. Installation is reserved for a small grouping of medical devices that require someone to go to the customer site and actually set up and install the piece of equipment. If our product requires installation, we have to define procedures, test methods, and other needed controls to ensure that that medical device not only is installed appropriately, but it's tested and it works as expected before we hand it off to the customer. We have to keep installation records and those records should identify who did the actual installation activities, what testing did they do, what were the test results, what was the date, and what were the actual control numbers or lot numbers used. If the installation is done by employees of our company, of course those employees have to be trained, and we also have to keep those installation records linked to the device history record. All of our installation procedures and documents have to be included into our device master record, and then finally, the procedures related to installing our medical device, those have to be made available to the customer and or third parties if they are doing the installation. How do I know this is working? Well, first, all of the procedures required for installation are included in my device master record. Second, installation activities are performed by trained individuals under controlled conditions. Third, I keep installation records and those records, they are linked to my DHR. How do I know it's not working? Well, first, I don't have those installation procedures defined and captured within my device master record. Second, I'm not capturing and maintaining installation records and they don't fulfill the regulatory requirements. And then finally, installation is done by untrained individuals who don't know what they're doing. Now for those three bonus questions. First, does our product require installation? Second, is that installation done by us or do we hire a supplier to do the installation for us? Finally, how are the installation records linked back into the DHR for the various lots of product? Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you have any questions, please send me an email at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained. Never stop learning.